YouTube welcome back to another video with your girl Natalie and if you're new to the channel I welcome you welcome 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 to Natalie inspiration channel and if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe and turn on your post notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I put out content you'll be the first to get that notification please to follow me on instagram at natalie underscore taurus guys on this channel it is inspiration on all level guys do remember guys that you can join my membership guys for exclusive perks and guys if you like the video you can drop a super thanks all right as little as a dollar one dollar you can drop a super thanks guys in this video i'm just basically going to you know just talk about you know the fears you know of returning back to school and especially if you know um especially if it is a new school like you're starting high school or you're starting primary school or you understand what i'm saying or you are actually you know just new to the environment like you've been at the school but you're going to a new grade you know there are some little fears you know and stuff like that and you have some children they return to school and you know and even in the middle of the school year they are still struggling with that fear because we as the parents we never yet take the time out to sit down and to have a conversation with our children and to find out if they're really comfortable and if they're adjusting all right so guys i wanted to stay tuned for the video guys i'm just going to leave some inspiration and just shed some light guys because there are real issues out there stay tuned so guys yes um you know going back to school guys it can be one of you know it can be fearful you know it can be very fearful and as we know that the school term is you know festive and you know you have some children are excited to go back and some maybe are not so excited to go back all right but it can be a fearful you know journey and the reason why i said journey guys is because they have some children as i said they return to school and even when they get you know to the end of the school year they have some fear that you know they never talk about you understand what i'm saying and the fears are there let me tell you something guys you have some back to school demon yes man you have some back to school demon we decide say them going to grab our children they're gonna hold on our children so guys the first thing that we have to do as parents you know as our you know for some of us our children already gone back you know like my daughter's already gone back as i said that in my last video but for those of you who you know will be starting like you know in first part of september there are some classroom demons there are some back to school, you know, demons that put on fear on our children. So it is our responsibility as parents, guys, to, you understand what I'm saying, prepare our children spiritually. A lot of us as parents, we, we put out all the effort, you know, and, and, and make sure that our children are physically prepared they have the nice bag and the nice shoes and you understand me and then and all of these things and when when i said nice shoes i'm talking about some name brand shoes and all of that and nothing is wrong to give your children the best if you're in the position to give them the best you understand but we often prepare our children physically and not spiritually and I believe it is important to prepare our children spiritually as much as we prepare them physically and mentally. They all go together. All right. So spiritually, we got to teach our children to pray. Some of us might don't really pray, but, you know, it is important that we start it from in the home. You know, teach our children to pray. You know, call them to prayer. Call him to prayer. My daughter don't always like it, but I call her to prayer. I give her scriptures to read. Unless she understand the importance of covering herself. You understand what I'm saying? Because if, if you don't speak it, it's not going to apply. 
you understand what I'm saying? We got to speak it out of our mouth. So we have to teach our children, you know, how to cover themselves. Teach them to pray, you know, so that, you know, whatever fears that they may have, you understand, it will not affect them. So as we prepare them physically, we prepare them spiritually as well right all right and next thing i want to talk about guys is, is guys is that you know i personally know of children i remember at one point you know i have a friend and her daughter you know and for almost seven months she's going to school and she was afraid you understand me and guess what happened she withdraw herself you know, understand what i'm saying and it affects how she perform in school because she withdraw herself so when she's supposed to be interacting with her friends and her teachers especially because of fear she is not doing so and guess what happened the, the the parents didn't know because they did not take the time out to talk to their child when your child come home from school in the afternoon never be too busy for your children do never be too busy for your children take that moment if i even one minute and talk to your picnic and say how was your day at school today when my when whenever time my daughter in fact i pick up my daughter from school I'm the one who pick her up and the minute I pick her up I said how was your school today how was your day at school today baby did you have a good day and she said she have a good day sometimes I pick her up and say tell mommy what makes your day you know good and 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 sometimes should I say you know she maybe never have a body I will talk about it if she said her day wasn't that you know but what am I saying when you have that relationship with your children and you understand what i'm saying and and they're having their chat they're having the challenges of fear at school you know they it will be easy for you to know because they will communicate with you they will tell you about it they will tell you that they're going through it they will tell you that this is what they're experiencing very important guys and next thing again that i found out you know prior to a, another child that was you know facing fear for month the child was not familiarized with the school. The child was not familiar, like, familiarized with the campus because it was the child, um, you know, new school and, you know, just going out and stuff like that. Sometimes it is wise to take our child to the school that they are going to go to and just take a moment with them and just familiarize them with their environment, familiarize them with the surrounding. You understand? So when they go back to school now or when they start school rather, they will remember that, you know, they were here and the bathroom is at this side and I'm supposed to walk there to go to my class and I remember when I came and, you know, the teacher, you know, did an introduction with me and I know that my, my, my social study class is going to be up there and my mathematics class is going to be up there. So that is wise that we come together. You understand? The parents bring the child to the school and, you know, the teacher of the class and all of that. And they just do a little introduction around to kind of get the child familiarized. So guys, yes, we have children do have fears going back to school. And to deal with the fears, guys, you have to identify it. And if you don't have that relationship with your child, it can be difficult to really identify the fears, guys. And so guys, you know, when you when you actually identify that the you know the problem is fear, then you know have to come with a solution. And as I said, you know preparing them spiritually and preparing them physically is good and we often you know spend time and 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 prepare them for the the physical but we never take the time out but well, they have some parents who do it and some parents who will not take the time out and to prepare them for this you know spiritually and mentally so we prepare them physically by giving them the things that they need for school making sure they have everything and everything is you know organized where it needs to organize and working and they know how to operate what they need to operate and all of that and then physic and then spiritually guys we have to teach our children to pray teach them to pray let them and teach them to pray you know urge them to read the word of god urge them to call on the lord in times of their fear you understand what i'm saying you know give them that that insight let them know that when they're at that moment of fear they can say lord help me lord show me the way lord 
cover me and mentally know you know you familiarize them you know with their environment before they actually go into the environment so guys yes our children some of them do have back to school fears even though they may be um not new to the school they may be going to the school like one year already or two year already but every time that they return they're going back to a new they're going to a new classroom they're going to meet new children of course and new teachers of course you know so that that that's very good you know and sometimes now you have another set where it's going to be their first time attending the school so children do have their little fears as they get ready to go to school and we as the parents we can help them overcome all right so guys let us do the best that we can for our children as we you know prepare them you know for school and for going out back to school you know for those the children who already gone back out to school it is still not too late you know to help them you know to, to, to overcome their stigma you know that fear that they may have or whichever fear they may have all right so guys I thank you so much for listening to this little inspirational tip all right guys and I will see you for the next video guys have yourself a fantastic rest of the week and guys I will see you for my next video peace out shalom I am out guys